In this section, we're going to go over how to import journal entries from Excel into QuickBooks. And we're going to import a very basic journal entry. And where you want to go to get the format for your spreadsheet is you want to go to support.quickbooks.intuit com support articles how one two seven seven eight and what you want to do is you want to download the IIF import kit and the IIF is the format that you are allowed to import entries into QuickBooks in this case a journal entry so we're going to click on this we are going to select download kit We're then going to select Open. We're going to click on the folder. And then you'll see a folder, IIF Example Files. We're going to click on this. We're going to click on, depending on the version of QuickBooks we have, the folder that is relevant and here you see a folder for journal entry. We're going to click on this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut and we're going to paste it on our desktop. Then we're going to go into Excel and we're going to open it. Make sure you have all files selected. And we're going to click on this. And you'll see it is in comma delimited format. And, and we're going to select next, next, and then finish. And you'll see we have the format of the journal entry. And you'll see the date that we want it to post to, the account, the amount, and the transaction type, which is general journal. So you want to fill in this information with your journal entry. Let's just say you want to reclass something from insurance expense to interest expense, and you want it to hit a particular client's name. So you could add a column called name name and you could enter your client and you see how I filled out certain information the amount 650 to hit interest expense and you see a negative amount which means a subtraction in expense for the insurance expense and you see we have the date the general journal we have this little here saying the end of the transaction so we fill in the information using the template we downloaded. And let's just say we're going to change the amount, in this case, to $1,000. So we're going to save this in the location on our computer. And it's going to be saved in this case as a text tab delimited. You're going to receive a message journal entry import file to point text may contain features that are not compatible with text tab delimited do you want to keep the workbook in this format select yes then we're going to close out because we do not want this file open when we try to import it so we're going to select close then we're going to go into QuickBooks and we're going to go to file utilities, import, and then we're going to go to IIF files. And we're going to go where we have the file and here at files of type we're going to select all files and then we are going to select the file we have as the journal entry we want to import. And here we're going to double click on it. 
and if everything is formatted correctly you will see your data has been imported so we're going to select OK and what we want to do now is see if it, it was indeed imported correctly so we're going to run a general ledger you see we have the correct date string so that it comprises the activity date we entered for our journal entry and then we're going to go down to the accounts that should be affected and we're looking for that thousand dollars and here it is here's the thousand dollar entry that we have entered and you can see the name our client so it will hit the client and let's just look at a job report to see if it does indeed hit the job report so we would go to reports jobs time and mileage and profit and loss by job and you'll see all the expenses hitting for our Elroy Enterprises and if we look at it click on it we can see the detail and there is our thousand dollars so this is how you import a journal entry into QuickBooks using Excel